hey guys welcome back to my channel it's Steph here with another video today's setup is a little bit different than usual as you can probably tell because today we're going to be doing a styling video fashion-y type video and basically i was inspired by um another youtuber on here called Sakela. Sakela. um i'll link her video down below but basically she did a video recreating outfits by a youtuber called naja who is one of my favorite fashion youtubers to watch on here and I just thought like a lot of people have been doing like recreating Pinterest videos, which I can still do if you guys want that. But I kind of wanted to put a nice twist on it. So I thought I would do recreating um, outfits by like my favorite fashion personalities, fashion influencers, that kind of thing. And I thought that that would be a really fun idea because I'm sure a lot of you know these people and would love to like kind of copy their style. And um, for me, I'm doing it in a really affordable way. So that's it for the intro. This is just like my intro outfit, so ignore it. But yeah, I'm gonna be starting. So the four influencers that I'm going to be like copying their fashion are Naja as well, like what Sakela did, Best Dress, which is Ashley, she's also a YouTuber, um, Pose and Repeat, she's also a YouTuber, but I feel like she's more known on her Instagram and on her Depop, and um, the last person is Kelsey Simone, which is someone I've been watching for years, and I really love her fashion and stuff, so I also feel like I picked these four individuals because they all have kind of distinctive style. So the first person um, that we're going to be doing is Naja. I'm going to be putting like people their Instagram here so you can kind of scroll through and look at what we're working with. So scrolling through Naja's Instagram you can see that she has a more streetwear style like more baggy clothing. She does wear like tighter fitting things here and there but she tends to go for more of a baggy look with her outfits. Baggy, slightly tomboyish, you know more like um street style kind of aesthetic but she does have a way of incorporating more girly looks into that so yeah that's what we're going to try and do doing two outfits for per person so for the first outfit i just have this long like pencil kind of woolen skirt i'll just come closer so you can see that i got this from primark but you can honestly get these type of skirts anywhere and i just have it in this nude color because naja wears a lot of nudes and browns and beiges and stuff like that and then to pair it with this i just have a signature for nausea which is just an oversized graphic tee and i just have this big oversized graphic tee that i got from i saw first i have i think i have a t-shirt collection video way way back on my channel i'll link it down below and i just got this t-shirt when i saw it first it's really cute and i just thought pairing this with this would just be like a cute outfit and then for accessories i have like a really standard item for an outfit, which is just a chunky chunky chain necklace just that you can like pair with literally anything as for shoes i just thought i would keep it pretty neutral and just wear a pair of like chunky sneakers she wears a lot of um jordan and stuff like that but again we're doing this for a more affordable kind of vibe and i'm not i feel like i don't have the kind of style where i would wear jordans and stuff like that in my everyday outfits so it wouldn't be an investment for me and if you're like the same as me that you kind of want that look but you don't really like that style of shoe or whatever then you can just go for a pair of just chunky sneakers these are from pretty little thing and i got them in a size i probably because that's my normal size but yeah this is a pair of nude chunky trainers so yeah let's try that outfit on okay okay so this is the first outfit for naja please ignore my background that's what happens when you film clothing videos but yeah this is the outfit as you can see it's kind of um definitely a baggier fit type of outfit i will say that um the skirt is definitely a bit longer than what she would wear her skirt would probably be like up here like slightly above the knees and yeah and the shoes would definitely be a little bit more chunky but i think this is a cute outfit probably not the strongest start but guys stick with me i think we'll get better as we go along so yeah i think i'm gonna rate these outfits i'll rate them out of five and i'll rate this one like a two out of five so i don't think it's my best we do have like the accessories and stuff but i just feel like the overall fit of it doesn't didn't do the job so Let's try again with the next one. Next outfit for Naja is a slightly, I guess, girlier outfit for her. Um, 
basically i decided to go with more of one of her more fitted outfits like the other one was kind of baggy with the flowy skirt and the big baggy t-shirt so i decided to go for one of her more fitted outfits and she tends to wear a lot of like little cute little crop tops with like a pair of like flared jeans or flared trousers so i thought i would like finally get to styling these brown checker trousers that i got from shein i got these in size large and she wears a lot of um brown as well so i wanted to incorporate brown in my outfits i thought i would just pair with a, a cute little white tank top this is just from primark in a two extra small like i know this looks kind of big but it's just like the perfect crop top super stretchy you don't have to wear a bra with this and i can't wait until primark opens so hopefully they have some of these basics for summer because they're super staple i've had this for a while and it still looks great so yeah let's see that outfit this is the second outfit for nausea uh i like this one a lot more i feel like this is definitely more in my comfort zone i'm surprisingly happy with like having like a little bit of a crop top because my stomach is not the skinniest right now actually one of the reasons why i love nausea so much is because um we have similar-ish body types but she has more of a snatch stomach and stuff like that but we have similar-ish body types so she makes me feel like i can wear certain things that i wouldn't otherwise feel confident wearing so this is like the top of the outfit and then we pan down and then these are the trousers and the shoes i feel like it's just a really cute fit really good for spring summer especially because it has the hoodie i would you can wear the hoodie on properly but i'm just wearing it like this now for you know the fit i have the i kept on the silver chain and i feel like it adds to it i feel like it makes the whole outfit look cute i think that the last thing that would tie this together is just like a cute little handbag and I don't have brown cute little handbag. I only have a black one. But I feel like I now need to get a brown one to kind of, you know, go with this vibe. But yeah, I really, really like this one. I know this is already a high number, but I think I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. I think it's cute. Basic, but I feel like it's comfortable and stylish. And that's it. The next thing I'm going to do is going to be a complete, like, almost 180 from Naja. And that is Kelsey Simone. Kelsey is someone I've been watching for years. Like, I think I've been watching her for at least four or five years now and i've always loved her fashion she definitely has more of a black and white aesthetic as you can see from her instagram she has definitely more of a black and white aesthetic she goes for more simple classic pieces she's definitely more um classic and simple with her fashion but it always looks really elegant and beautiful um for the looks i'm gonna do recreate for hers i am just kind of not really recreating one specific look but kind of taking inspiration from her general overall style for the first outfit for kelsey i got this dress like a while ago it's something that's a bit outside of my comfort zone but i feel like it's something that's so kelsey i got this dress from i saw it first like it still has a time on it guys i got this dress in a size 10 it has long flowy sleeves long flowy skirt it's just really cute and feminine and i just thought this would be really cute it's quite short too so i would pair this with a knee-high boots and i feel like this is just such a kelsey outfit she would probably wear this on either on its own or she would wear it with a coat i have this coat that i'm going to pair with the other outfit and it's just like a long line black coat really classic it has a collar it has pockets i got this from also from i saw first actually if you watch my last i saw first haul i think that i did on my channel um i got this coat i got this coat in a size large because it came up really small and i wanted to be able to layer with it and then just accessory wise like i said she's really classic with her accessories so i just wanted to pair this outfit in particular with this like dainty pearl necklace which if you watch my last Shein haul i got it from Shein. so let's go try on the outfit okay guys this is the next fit this is kelsey's first outfit um i think this turned out much cuter than i thought i got the pearl necklace on i've got the dress on it's kind of a shorter dress but yeah i said it i think i said i was going to wear it with um knee-high boots but honestly i kind of felt like the dress was had this like cute girly fun vibe that i thought that it would be better for me to wear it with like little ankle boots instead so that's what i'm doing and then i just you can see it kind of fell but i just draped the coat over my shoulders but i'll just take it off completely so you can see this dress it's really cute honestly i'm probably gonna end up wearing this dress throughout the summer see how you can just go through your wardrobe by styling and see things that you wouldn't have otherwise saw look at how cute and feminine and girly it is again it's a kind of like a cow print which i think animal print is really trendy so i feel like this is a really trendy outfit honestly to make it a little bit more my style and a little bit more casual i think i would wear it with white sneakers instead of um instead of a 
black boots like this <laughs> i think it's really cute i honestly feel like this flatters my body shape so nicely it's super flattering like i'm feeling myself right now cute or whatever but yeah this outfit is is a five out of five for me i really like this one five stars out of five would highly recommend the next outfit i have is like another classy outfit but then this one is definitely more covered up i guess we're going into more with spring summer vibe now but if you're Still living in super cold you can still probably wear this and if anything you can just like omit the jacket or something so this is just a white turtleneck again it's a completely it's like a pure white turtleneck with a nice cute little roll neck just for reference the turtleneck is from yes style i believe and i'm pairing it with these leather leggings i'll actually say that these are not my favorite pair of leather leggings i got them from i saw first in a size 12 uk 12 they're not my favorite they're a little bit shiny as you can see but i thought they would look cute i love the look of like leather with like you know the soft vibes and then you know i would pair this with some ankle boots which i'm gonna do in the try on and then i would pair this with the coat and then a scarf because i feel like for her a scarf is a staple and i have this scarf that i got from primark years ago it's definitely a bit of like a burberry like a dupe slash knockoff kind of vibe well, this is definitely more of like a wintery outfit i would say but if you take away the scarf and the jacket you can always wear the base of the outfit for a more summer look or a more business look during the summer or whatever just look on to that outfit this is kelsey's second outfit and as you can see it's very warm cozy winter vibes um we have the leather look leggings on i feel like i don't mind them on with a fit like this where it's you know i have other stuff covering like my body because they're definitely a lot very tight fitting very tight and stuff so i kind of like that i have a lot of stuff on i just have my little um dupe for the prada bag that i got from primark for 10 euro and then this is the fit I just put on a little cross necklace. Kelsey, like me, is also a Christian, so I thought that'd be a cute little touch. I just paired it with the ankle boots I just had on. And I feel like it's a cute fit. I feel like I've never dressed like this before. I feel like this is really nice and professional, so if you're in a professional setting, this would definitely be a cute fit for you. I really like it. I definitely think this is the kind of style that I'm gonna incorporate when I become, I feel like I'm 22 now, I need to start dressing up a little bit older. So I definitely think this is the kind of style I'm going to incorporate. And I do have my scarf. I do, I do have my little Burberry dupe scarf too, just thrown over. And I just feel like it ties the whole outfit together. It looks really bougie, look expensive, but you're usually on a budget. Like most of the stuff is like Primark, Primark, Shein, Yes Style, and I saw it first. So you can look this expensive and cute whilst not breaking the bank people the next person whose style will be taking inspiration from is somebody who i feel like they're still kind of up and coming but i really enjoy her videos her name is ruby but i think most people know her as pose and repeat and she's really really well known for having really colorful bright fashion which is again big 180 from kelsey's black and white vibes so she has really really colorful fashion and she buys like a lot of bright pieces and words bright pieces and she has a lot of really cute videos about styling colorful clothing and how to build a colorful wardrobe so i'll actually link some of her videos down below because i think for some of you who have that aesthetic or want to have that aesthetic it'll be really helpful for you but the outfits i chose for her are more of like on a simpler vibe because i don't have as much colorful bright clothing as she does the first piece for her outfits is this jumper and it's just this unif jumper i think it's actually a unif knockoff because i'm pretty sure i bought this jumper off yes style as you can see it's just striped with she wears a lot of stripy pieces as well it's just striped with purple black and different shades of blue and white and it's just a really cute jumper and usually she would pair something like this picking one of the colors in the stripes and going with it so because it is spring summer i also have this white skirt really cute that i thought would pair really cutely with it i got the skirt from primark and it was a size 10 but you can buy find a mini white denim skirt from anywhere but like i said hopefully when primark opens up we can get our hands on these little basics and stuff so yeah let's see how that outfit comes together god guys getting in and out of clothes is a lot harder than it seems just so you know so okay so this is the first four pose and repeats 
Ruby's outfits. And I honestly really like this. This jumper though, I'm gonna show you it without my hair in front of my face. It has a weird, bit of a weird fit. Like I feel like it needs to be more down like that. The way the shoulders are are weird. So I kind of need to have my hair in the front to kind of break up that weird baggy look at the top. But I feel like besides that, it's really cute. I have it on with the white Primark skirt. It, this is squeezing me tight, guys. We've definitely gained a few pounds since we bought this skirt a couple months ago, so definitely need to hit the gym more. And I'm just pairing it with some white shoes. I feel like, you know, Ruby's fashion is definitely more colorful, but I guess this is where you can kind of do it in a more muted way while still having the color. I feel like this outfit could be is great for spring. I feel like it's nice and transitional because you still have the pop of color and the brightness with the jumper and also the warmness of the jumper because it's quite thick but you have like the mini skirt and the shoes so yeah i think this is a cute outfit Let's give it a three out of five because of that i don't think i rated my last kelsey outfit but i give that one a five out of five <laughs> but yeah next outfit i got these in a size uk 12 from pretty little thing and they're just a pair of like they're supposed to be like straight leg mom jeans but they're absolutely massive as you can see so i think i'll either be wearing these with a belt or i'll just be wearing them on its own and a cropped top um just this cute little crop top i got this in my recent Shein haul i got this in a size medium it's just a cute little stretchy top patchwork print again pattern because she wears a lot of pattern in her wardrobe and yeah it's just cute light colors would go really cute with these jeans so let's go into that outfit. Okay. So this is the second outfit for ruby pose and repeat this is the outfit it's just these jeans okay they're they're a little bit big so i'm just gonna since I'm in a bit white jeans and then I just paired it with this same like white sneakers I feel like for her this is more of a would be more of a sole outfit I think she definitely would go for something a bit more out there than this but I did pair it with this cute little butterfly necklace in order to you know give it a bit more like style and stuff and yeah this is a fit I think it's cute. I'll give this, just because the jeans just make me feel uncomfortable in every way, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. But I think it's cute, and I think this is just a cute little summer fit. I do think you could layer this. Hold on. If you want to add an extra layer and, you know, carry around like a little cardigan, I just like threw it over my shoulder. I know Ruby does things like this all the time. Or you could tie it across, or you could put it like that. Just add a bit more to your outfit. And it kind of goes, you know, and it's a colorful piece. And it's cute. And then you could also put the cardigan on later if it gets cold. So it's like a good transitional outfit. Last but certainly not least is Ashley, aka Best Dressed here on YouTube and on her Instagram. And basically with Ashley, she has a very like girly style. It's like quite white UK, quite preppy in some ways. She lay one thing I noticed about her is that she layers a lot in her outfits. So she might wear like a long sleeve t-shirt underneath a dress she might wear t-shirts and her crop tops you know that kind of thing she wears a lot she wears a lot of mini skirts so i like her style because she wears a lot of skirts a lot of dresses it's quite girly but it also has a cool vibe to it at times the first outfit i chose is an outfit that i'm really excited about and the first thing we have is this like little black skirt um with a little slit in it you know she wears a lot of little black skirts so I thought I would just include like a basic one. I got this from Yes Style in a size large. I'll have it linked down below. I feel like it's just going to be cute. A cute little base for our outfit. And I feel like this is just a staple in your wardrobe anyways. What I'm going to pair with it is this basic white t-shirt. I got this in my last Shein haul in a size large. But I think I said to size down in that video. So I would size down. And then more importantly, on top of it, I'm going to be pairing it with this cute little crop top so i feel like she wears a lot of these cute little crop tops um layered with her little skirt and tops so i'm layering this crop top on the t-shirt and i feel like it makes it cute and spring appropriate like especially if you're like me and you don't really love like your arms in this area and you don't want to wear just something like this on its own layering it with the t-shirt is a perfect way to do that and i feel like she does that a lot in her outfits i also got this from yes style and i think I got it in a size large anyways it'll be linked down below if it's still available hopefully it is and yeah that's it for that outfit also i'll have some cute shoes in it and accessories with this so let's move on to that here's the first outfit for ashley best dress we just have a cute little bag again taken from one of kelsey's outfits we've got the cute little skirt with a slip from yes style top from yes style 
t-shirt from Shein. I just think this is a really cute fit. Again, I would wear this. Right now, I don't have the girl skirt zipped up because we blow it as hell. She tight as hell and I don't want to deal with that. Then going down, we just have these cute little platform sneakers on. I feel like um, if I was going to enhance the outfit either even more, I would wear the shoes with white socks that have like a frilly lace trim around the top just to kind of tie in the white and the frilliness of the lace into the outfit but in general i think this is a really cute fit would definitely wear would definitely put on my instagram and yeah i really like this one i would give it a four out of five stars and then for the last outfit of this video wow that was eight outfits guys we have just a very standard cute preppy outfit i've actually worn an, this outfit that i'm about to show i think on my instagram honestly this kind of outfit you can kind of use any sort of base for it especially if you buy the items from where i got them from so this skirt i got it from shein i got it in a size large if i remember correctly yeah i got it in a size large but they had a lot of skirts like this in the pinks and purples and blues and if you have a skirt like this you can match it to like a lot of colors so like i could wear like yellow with this because it has yellow i can wear a little brown because it has brown in it so you can match this kind of thing to any sort of top and for me i'm going to be um layering this with this adorable green cardigan the beauty with this is that you can wear it kind of one buttoned up all of it buttoned up opened up like this and this cardigan is really cute i got this from yes style a while ago so i hope i can find it i got this in a size large and this is really thick as a cute little preppy fit but you guys will see that now this is the last outfit this is our second outfit for ashley best dress and as you can see it's just a cute little checkered skirt i just paired it with the same white shoes i've been pairing with most things in this video with a t-shirt and buttoned unbuttoned like this it gives off a really cute preppy look the necklace kind of gives it a cute little vibe to it you know it's a vibe and then i guess we could also button it up so with the button it looks it still looks equally equally as cute i feel like you could wear this with nothing underneath it and it would still look really cute as well um yes just great summer vibes again i think this is preppy but i feel like it has a good summer vibe to it so you would be sorted for the summer i already know i am and yeah i would give this outfit since this is already an outfit i've worn and i've loved i would give it a uh, five stars out of five and i like the way it looks and the way it complements my figure but yeah that's it guys on to the outro that's the end of the video as you can see i haven't tried on any of the outfits as of now but you know you'll see throughout the video what i think of the outfits and what i would change or whatever but that's it for the video if you like this kind of concept and idea please remember to give it a thumbs up if you want a part two i already do have a lot of other influencers that i would love to try and recreate their style and if you have any influencers that you'd love to see me include in a video like this make sure to comment them down below so i can get to, your, to them and find you some cute dupes online and how to style like your favorite fashion influencers on here but yeah guys can you tell that i'm out of breath from talking like i haven't even filmed the clothing part yet but yeah that's it for the video guys thank you so much for watching um make sure to like comment and subscribe down below i'm trying to reach 200 subscribers by the end of march hopefully fingers crossed i'm on 139 right now so let's try and reach 200 by the end of march or even more so if you haven't subscribed down below please subscribe i have i'll have lots of videos coming on my channel i'm gonna try and post videos frequently so look out for those but yeah that's it for me today guys Thank you for watching once again. Bye. And for my real ones who stick to the end of my videos, you know, y'all know who you are. Um, comment down below lips and I'll know that you're a real one. Bye.